up guys, it's Brad from Letter Architect here. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use soft body simulations inside of Blender to create a crushing metal effect. Like when the tank runs over the metal barrels in our recently uploaded tank attack project. This video should be pretty quick and the concepts within it can be applied in a lot of different ways to get some really interesting dynamic results inside of Blender. Anyways guys, let's get started. Here we are inside of Blender. This is part of the scene from our tank attack video here. We have our tank here and it's just rolling over the cylinders here. As you can see, if we scroll through it here really quick, it just runs over them and creates kind of an interesting metal warping effect. And all of this is just a soft body simulation. And now I'm going to show you how to create this project from an earlier point. So I'm going to go ahead and delete our metal barrels here and we'll create our own in a second. I've also created a proxy version of our tank for the simulation and go ahead and delete that as well. And I'll just show you how to create this from start to finish aside from the animation of the tank. So what we're starting off with here is simply just a tank going forward here. So this will be our starting off point here for the tutorial. And before we create our metal barrels, let's go ahead and create the collision objects that our metal barrels will interact with in their soft body simulation. So the first collision object that we want to create to interact with our soft body simulation in the scene is our road here. So we'll go ahead and select our road. And what we want to do to make this road interact with a soft body object is we just want to click under the physics tab here, the collision properties. And that's just going to make our road plane here interact with the soft body simulation. And as you can see here, if we go to object mode, it's also important that you have subdivided the plane here to a few sections here, just so you can have a little bit more accurate soft body simulation. All right. So so now we'll go ahead and go back to object mode again and the second collision object we are going to make is the proxy version of our tank to interact with the barrels as the tank moves over it you could technically make the entire tank a collision object so that it interacted with our barrels when it runs over it however this can be pretty taxing on the computer as the uh, vertices and the modeling of the tank can be pretty detailed so what we want to do is we want to actually just create a less detailed version of the tank to create that soft body simulation and take a little bit less time on our computer so I'll go Go ahead here and go to front view here and what we're going to do is we're just going to use a cube to create a rudimentary version of our tank here so we'll go ahead and press shift a add a cube and we'll just add this here scale it up and we don't need it to be that accurate we just want something kind of to go around our tank here go to head go to object mode here or edit mode here go to wireframe and we just want to start extruding things here so i'm pressing e and extruding our uh, tank here and we're just going to kind of create a very basic version of our tank And as you can see, now we have kind of a proxy version of our tank body here, and that's going to interact with our soft body simulation of the barrels. And one thing that's really important when you do soft body simulation and your collision objects is that you subdivide your collision objects enough to have enough vertices to interact with the soft body simulation. So we'll go ahead and go to edge and subdivide, and we'll go ahead and subdivide our proxy tank up a little bit. You probably don't have to do it this much, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'll go ahead and leave it like this. And now we'll just go back to object mode. And again, we have our proxy tank here and we'll go ahead and press shift and select the tank body as well. And now we'll just go control P and we'll parent our proxy tank to the real tank in the scene. And now as you can see here, when our tank rolls through, our proxy tank moves with it. And now finally, we'll go ahead and reselect our proxy tank here. And under the physics tab, once again, we'll enable the collision physics here. And again, just like we did for our road, that's going to enable the collision physics for our soft body simulation for the proxy tank as well. All right, so now that we've created our two collision objects, let's go ahead and create the metal barrels for our simulation. So I'll go ahead and press shift A and we will add a cylinder. We'll scale it up a little bit and we'll put it in front of the tank. And it is important to uh, kind of go to edit mode and adjust a few of the vertices and add a few more subdivisions to this to uh, get a little bit better soft body simulation. So we'll go ahead and go to edit mode here and we'll just kind of create a little bit better looking metal barrel here. So we'll go ahead. So first I'll go ahead and select the top vertices, maybe uh, extrude them a little bit, scale them out a little bit and then just kind of create a little bit more unique shape here. And we have a little bit better looking metal barrel as opposed to just a basic cylinder. And those extra vertices are going to help the soft body physics as well. And I'll go ahead and select the bottom portion of our barrel as well and do the same thing here. This should be pretty good. Now let's go ahead and select all the vertices here. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'll add a few loop cuts here to our tank to add a few more vertices for a little bit more detail in our simulation. You could just subdivide it, but I like to have a little more control over where I'm putting those vertices. And uh, yeah, this should be pretty good. Let's go ahead and 
select all of the vertices here and we'll duplicate the barrel a few times. So we'll go ahead and press Shift D with all the vertices selected and create a new barrel here. Press Shift D again, duplicate this one. And uh, now we have three barrels that will be crushed by the tank here. So we'll go ahead and go back to object mode here and we'll go ahead and scale them down a little bit just to uh, make them a little bit more of scale for the tank to crush. And we'll place them just above our road and something like this them so maybe just the corner of them gets run over all right something like that should be pretty good and uh, now let's go ahead and enable the soft body physics for these barrels so we'll go ahead and go back to the physics panel here and we'll just go to soft body and click on it we'll go ahead and first turn off goal for the soft body simulation goal is going to make our objects stick to the animated position in our scene so we want to go ahead and turn that off so they move more freely and we'll go ahead and keep edges on and we're going to also go ahead and enable self collision for a little bit more accurate simulation and the main settings we're going to play around with in our soft body simulation are pull, push, plastic, and bending. And these are the four settings that you want to play around with to get your simulation to look more like metal. As you can see here, if we play through our scene right now, they kind of just crumple in on themselves and don't really do what we want them to do. So let's go ahead and adjust a few of the edges settings here to make them a little bit more like metal. The first thing I'm going to change is the plastic setting. And plastic is essentially how much the object deforms once it has been crushed or changed. As you can see here, if we hold our cursor over here, it says it's a permanent deform. So essentially, once the soft body simulation has occurred, how much it's going to stick to that deformed position. So for something like metal, we want it to stick to the deformed position and not go back to being a uh, complete barrel. We want it to stay crushed. So we'll go ahead and turn up plastic all the way to 100. The next thing we're going to change is the bending. Bending is essentially, as you can see here, the bending stiffness. We want to increase bending to create more stiffness in the simulation in addition to changing pull and push at the same time and kind of experiment with all three of these settings. The pull property here is essentially how much the soft body simulation resists being pulled apart um, in kind of like an elastic way. And the push setting is essentially how strong the uh, pushback is from the soft body when something is pressing down upon it. Again, so pull is the resistance of the soft body simulation to be being pulled apart and push is the resistance of the soft body when it's being pushed together. Generally I will increase these at the same time as you can see here it's 0.5 and 0.5 at default. Um, before we increase these anymore we're going to go ahead and increase the bending stiffness a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and put this at 1 and see what this does for us and leave these pull and push settings at 0.5 for now. And as you can see here, it's a little bit different result, but it's still not quite stiff enough for that metal look. So I'll go ahead and first, before I change the bending anymore, I'll go ahead and increase the pull to maybe uh, 0.8, as well as the push 2.8 as well. And now we'll go ahead and try the simulation again. And now as you can see, everything is uh, much more stiff. It's kind of bouncing around at first. It's kind of warping before the tank gets to it. But as you can see here, once the tank gets to it, it's starting to crush them nicely here. I'll go ahead and pause the simulation since it's taking a little bit of time on my computer. Let's go ahead and adjust the uh, bending setting to be a little bit higher and then go ahead and bake our soft body simulation. So at the beginning this last time, they were bouncing around a little bit too much, like they were a little bit too thin. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the bending a little bit to create a little bit more stiffness in our barrels here. So maybe something like three. And now let's go ahead and play it one more time. And as you can see here, they still bounce around a little bit with these settings. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the bending to something like five and see if we can minimize the uh, bounciness of the initial part of the simulation. And it's looking pretty good here. I might actually uh, increase the damping a little bit just to uh, get rid of that bounce. All right, so now it's uh, slowing down a little bit faster. And this should be pretty good for crushing our metal, but my computer's slowing down a little bit when we try to play back our animation timeline here. So in order to get an accurate representation of what this is going to do, I'm going to go ahead and bake the soft body simulation. So I'll go ahead and scroll up here to the uh, cache tab here, and we wanna choose what frames we want simulated for the soft body simulation. Frame one to 250 should be pretty good since that's about when our tank is running over these metal barrels here. And so we'll just go ahead and first, I'll go ahead and save our project project here one more time and then in order to bake our soft body simulation we'll go ahead and press the bake button here and now blender is going to go through all of our frames and simulate that soft body simulation so we can play it back in real time 
All right guys, so we've baked the soft body simulation and as you can see here, when we uh, scroll through the timeline, the cans get crushed by our tank, kind of bounce around here at the end here once our tank rolls over them. And uh, yeah, that's how you can simulate crushing metal inside a blender using a soft body simulation. Anyways guys, feel free to play around with these settings in the soft body simulation panel here. As I said before, the three main settings that you wanna play with once you've increased your plastic to 100 are the uh, pull, the push, and the bending. and then if if you want to dampen the uh, simulation a little bit you could increase the damping as well but those are the main three so feel free to play around with it to get some interesting results you can do all kinds of cool simulations with this metal doors bending you know lots of destruction effects things like this and uh, get some pretty awesome looking results Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. As always, feel free to leave any comments if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. We will be releasing more breakdown videos and tutorials on the techniques we used to create the tank attack video that we uploaded last week. So stay tuned for that. And again, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell notification if you wanna be notified for new uploads. I'll see you next time.